Welcome to our channel Tech Theory Concept. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is disk scheduling. So, let's start. Disk scheduling is used to schedule the order of input and output. So, why we do disk scheduling? Because it is the responsibility of operating system to use every hardware of computer efficiently. So, disk scheduling is an important concept to use the disk efficiently by operating system. It is also improve the access time and disk bandwidth. There are two types of access time, seek time and latency time. To understand the seek time, latency time and disk bandwidth, look at this diagram. This is a general disk structure. As we know that magnetic disk provide a bulk of secondary storage for a computer system. In magnetic disk, each disk platter has a flat circular shape. It is just like a CD. A read and write head is available on each platter and it is joined by an arm assembly. Each disk platter is further subdivided into tracks and a track is further subdivided into sector. The intersector gap is the gap between the two sectors in a track and the intertrack gap is the gap between the two track in a platter. Whenever we want to use a disk, a disk drive motor is spin it at very high speed. The positioning time of arm assembly is divided into two parts seek time and latency time the seek time is the time to move the disk arm to the desired cylinder so the seek time means here you can see that we have three disk platter if you want any input or output from this disk you should know that the data is present in which cylinder so the time to move the disk arm to the desired cylinder is known as seek time and after reaching the desired cylinder suppose the disk head is here and the data is present in this sector and if the disk is rotating in clockwise direction so the time to reach this sector under the head position this time is known as rotational latency or rotational delay. The disk bandwidth is the total number of bytes transfer divided by total number of time between the first request for service and the completion of last transfer. Now we will see how we do disk scheduling in a computer system. Whenever a process generates a input output request from the disk, the process always makes a system call to operating system. This system call consists of the following information. First, to know the input output information, either it is input or output. It means the process want to read the disk information or to write the disk information. What is the disk address? The process want to read or write the information and what is the memory address it is the main memory address if process want to read the information from the disk it will need some main memory address so the information will transfer from disk to main memory and the last is how many number of bytes transfer to or from the disk if the desired disk drive and controller are available, the request can be serviced immediately. The disk controller is a controller that works between the computer and the disk to control or to transfer the data through the bus. If disk controller is not free, then a queue is created for every request to be serviced by the process then operating system chooses which pending request to service next the selection of pending request can be done by following techniques the first come first serve shortest seek time first is can 
सी स्कैन लुक एंड सी लुक वी विल डिस्कस ऑल दिस टेक्निक इन आर अनदर वीडियोज़